Hey, it's Brian Thomas from the 55 KRC Morning Show. Hope you're having a real nice Thursday. At least we get sunshine today and blue skies. I know it's freezing out there, but hey, what the heck? Silver lining in every dark cloud. Thanks to the folks that showed up at Arthur's yesterday for a lunch out and about. If you uh, want to see who the folks are that show up or showed up, some new faces and, of course, some familiar ones, uh, photographs on the blog page, 55krc.com. Talk to author uh, Thomas E. Woods, Jr. today, author of a book called Rollback. Um, basically, got to fix it now, or it's all going to collapse. Kind of reality. You know, it's a fa it was a fascinating conversation. He's a really good guy to just kind of go back and forth and sort of open exchange of ideas. But ideas that we talked about, you can podcast if you didn't get a chance. And it's an eight o'clock hour on the podcast page for today. But he has some solutions too, and uh, we both seem to be in, in, in of the same mind, at least in so far as cutting now, as opposed to dealing with the mass chaos and hysteria that will obviously ensue when it really hits the fan. And I mean it, I'm talking all the, the entitlement reform that's, that's necessary. But ultimately the point is, it, would it not be appropriate, you know, stepping out of our own little worlds and the six inches around our head that we usually pay attention to and thinking of the broader picture, if we've consumed more than we could pay for, if we have borrowed to have more now, wouldn't it be appropriate for the people who have borrowed more now and consumed more than it's paid for for them to experience the cuts as opposed to, I don't know, maybe stuffing it down our children and grandchildren's throat? I merely throw that out as a possible, um, maybe ethical, ethical way of looking at it. Because I have children and you might have children too, and whether or not you do, it's a simply a question of fairness. Why can we or how can we ethically ethically leave the next generation with a bill for all the stuff and things that we got to consume. If it was done to you, would you view it as fair? How would you look back at the generations prior to you if they had stuck you at the tab and the chaos and the aftermath rather than fixing the problem that they created? It's a good point worth thinking about. Thomas, uh, Thomas Wood talks about it in his book. You can get a copy on my blog page at 55krc.com along with a whole host of other materials and prizes. I hope you have a great day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.